Hey creative people, in today's super quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this wipe transition effect in HitFilm Express. Today's video tutorial will be one out of five on the difficulty scale, it'll be super easy. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shiny Films. I make HitFilm videos like this, as well as other video editing tutorials, and you can follow me on Twitter as well. But let's just get straight on into this video tutorial. Most normally I would use this wipe effect when I'm showing before and afters in my videos for a certain effect that I might be making a tutorial on. You can also use this wipe transition effect though uh, in a lot of other ways just to transition between clips normally and a whole ton of other things as well. But today I'm just going to quickly show you the before and after thing that I do in my videos. So first of all I'm just going to show you I have uh, this clip here if I uh, open it up in the trimmer. You can see I've got my before clip here and I've got the a clip with my effects applied on in the timeline already here. And this is what I did in my last video. But we want to quickly make a clip where this wipes over and transitions into the after clip over here. And so to do that, we're just going to drag our original clip from the media panel. And you can see not only can we drag it to the right and left of this clip, but we can also drag it above onto a new track. Just uh, let go of it and we'll, you can see we've created a video two track. Now video two will play on top of video one. So you can see that we've got the before clip showing on top of video one. And if we press the I here next to video two, you can see that now the video two is hidden and we've still got that after clip underneath. Now it's time to apply our transition. Let's say I want the before to start here. And around this point, I want the effect to start and I want the transition to finish around here. And then I want to have the after clip for this remainder of the clip. I'm just going to shorten this clip so that we have uh, the after clip here and we have the before clip here, but as you can see, it just instantly transitions and that's not what we want. So there's a really easy way to do this. Just go into the effects panel and you can see I've already go, got it opened up here. Uh, you can search this effect and you can look at it in the folders, but if you just go to video transitions, you can have a whole ton of different video transitions, which I'd recommend you play around with. But the one we're gonna be using is linear wipe which means it'll wipe it in you know, a linear line direction. And you can see that if we just drop this onto the end of the clip here, I kind of did that in a hurry, but you can see you can drop it onto the end of clips or the beginning of clips like so. And uh, if we just drop it onto the end of the clip here, you can see it appears there and we can drag it out and extend it all the way over here just by dragging on it like you would a normal clip. And if you play it back, you can see that it works perfectly how I'd normally want it to work. However, there's a couple of, uh, and with any transition, there's a couple of options which you can use. So if you, as you can see, we, if we click on the clips, we can adjust the properties, but you can actually click on the transition and that'll, you can, if you go into the controls here and we've got two controls for the linear wipe transition. The first one is feather. Uh, actually, the first one's direction, but I'm just gonna go in feather. This is just soften the edge. So you can have a super soft edge if you want. But normally for my videos, right, I wanna have this harsh line so I can clearly show the audience what's the before effect and what's the after effect. So normally I would have really no feather there. And you can also change the direction. So by default it's 90 and you can see this little arrow here means that the transition is gonna move in this direction. But you can also select 270 if you wanna flip it from right to left instead of left to right. And then you can also make it zero if you want it from, uh, you know, uh, if you want it from bottom up and then you can do 180 if you want it from the top down. Or alternatively, you can just set your own custom angle like so. So that's the wipe transition that I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about in, this, in my videos. And also just play around with all of these other different video transitions because there's a ton of them. And if you just, uh, what, what I would do when I, when I get a video software is I just test out all the transitions to see when I could use them. And then if I have all of them kind of stored in my memory, when I'm coming to editing a video, I can just see, oh, this, Additive Dissolve might work well for this, say, dream sequence or something. And then I can just drag that on. Won't really work with these clips because you need them kind of side by side for the Additive Dissolve to work well, for example. But yeah, it's good to just go through all of these effects um, and see which ones uh, you might want to use in your videos. Anyway, that does it for today's video, guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope this helps out the people that have been asking in the comments section. If you did like this video and you want other people to find it more easily, then you can click the like button. That'll help spread the word. Or you can just manually share it by clicking on that share button. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shiny Films. Again, I make hit film tutorials like this, mostly in the free version, as well as other video editing and computer software tutorials. You can follow me on Twitter. And until next time, 
stay shiny.